Welcome back to the Double Knotted Podcast, a sneakers podcast for the average consumer. I'm your host, Colin Riquez, always joined by my guy, my co-host, Anthony Torres. How are we feeling today, sir? We're feeling good, man. I actually, I actually play basketball today, so I'm not going to lie. I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm dead in the inside. But, you know, mm-hmm. besides that, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I can't complain. A little life update, though. I got my foot inside of a sneaker for the first time in three weeks. Oh, there you go. Just progress. That's Do you want to guess the shoe, Torres? 992. It wasn't a 992. Uh, I don't know. It was the Nike Sakai. The Sakai. I knew that. The I Sakais, saw man. It was that. the Sakais. Oh, my gosh. Like, I was surprised, actually. I was like, yo, will this work? Because I've been trying, like, every single shoe in my collection. And, like, I was like, all right, hopefully the Sakais work. Threw mm-hmm. on the Sakai, and I was like, whoa. My foot's in a shoe. I, got I mean, it's, a kind, I got it's like supposed to be like a running shoe, right? It's supposed to be. Yes, yeah, the vapor waffle, the second one, not the first one, not the waffle, the, mm-hmm. the LD waffle, but then the vapor, the vapor waffle. But it was great. Like, like I was like, whoa, I can actually feel my foot. Like I don't have to wear slippers anymore. Like I feel good. I feel pretty good. That's good, man. That is good. That is good. Um, some stuff on my side. Uh, nice cool sneaker thing. So you know, I've just been picking up way too many shoes. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it's now becoming a problem. Because mm-hmm. like I, I think it's it's safe to say it's an addiction. Okay. But um, and then the other day, this is this is what last night someone someone hit me up. Okay. And I'm already like maxed out, like maxed out, maxed out. I have no more money left. Okay. Even though we're gonna get into this episode, the first shoe that we talk about is gonna I need to get, and I have no money, but <laughs> I got these last night. Okay. Um, they're pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, right. you know? sir, those uh, are nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be a hype piece, but like, it is fire. It's the yeah. the Travis Six, the uh, British khaki. Mm-hmm. You those know, lots nice. of hidden details. By accident, yes. I left them out, and they were glowing. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but um, nah, fire shoe, man. That's fire sick, shoe. man. That is sick. But just out of curiosity, Torres, because I know that you mentioned last episode, did we create space in the Chamber of Secrets? Nope. These are in GR. These are in oh, right boy. in the middle of the closet. I have, oh, I have boy. nothing. Oh, boy. Jesus yeah. Christ, Torres. But I hope you fix that situation soon because the next couple of months worth of sneakers, they're going to be a lot. Bro, it's going to be not, heat. I'm not ready. I'm literally not ready. Like, like Kyle knows whenever he sends me something on Instagram, like, mm-hmm. like the first thing I say is push back the release date. Push back the release date. <laughs> I don't have enough money right now. Like... Oh, oh man struggles of an average consumer there you go yes we don't have the room like your favorite you know sneaker connoisseurs man we got to make it work and how we work you know what i'm saying we got some of the sneakers back here we're starting to move the shoes now so we're I'm, it's a good progress right here I see, I see the unions are just moving every every week they just yeah they're like fluctuating like i have to go into the other room and get some other heat just to show like you know the listeners and the this viewers guy, as well here guy, on youtube but just to get into it some back of house stuff i do want to thank everybody for tuning in to the podcast whether it's on apple spotify or viewing us here on youtube you guys are great i was actually at a family function last week torres and um my family hit me up and we were like yo kyle your podcast is fire and i was like oh whoa i didn't know y'all tune in this is great appreciate you appreciate you thank you kyle's family i appreciate now we it. love it we love it but we got an action-packed episode of sneaker news today oh, yeah. torres let's get the ball rolling what we're working with right now this is one like bro so I- as you, before every episode, I do a little homework, a little deep diving, see what the shoe is about. Mm-hmm. And now I absolutely need this shoe. And Ooh. this is what I'm talking about. I don't have enough money, but it's the, <laughs> the Kyrie 7. Oh, gosh. Horus? Horus? The Horus. The Horus. That's the Horus. We'll the Horus. Yeah. Horus. Okay. And that's uh, the concept shoe that uh, that they just collabed on. And it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's got so much detail mm-hmm. that it's like almost overwhelming. Yes. Yes. What do you think of the shoe? You know what? I'm not really like I'm not a big hooper right now. Like I don't uh-huh. hoop as much as I was when I was younger. But if I were to hoop like consistently nowadays, the Kyrie line is what I would rock with because the design is just fire. Like the colorway, and I see like the bottom of the shoe. Like the grip looks good. Like it's meant for guards, and like I like the ankle support as well. It's not mm-hmm. too high. It's not too low. But also the hieroglyphics on the shoe. Did you peep that little um Bro. detail on the shoe? The amount, this one's the amount of details on the shoe. Like they have, like you're talking on those little, like the things on the laces. I don't know what you want to call them, like fingers. Um, it's almost. towards the laces and actually on the side of the sneaker. Like when yeah. I saw it, I was like, hmm, these are tight. I mean, I, I wrote it down. Like I know there's a lot to do with the lotus flower. I don't really know the the sim the symbolization like the, of the lotus flower. 
<laughs> but um you know even if you look at the upper on like a certain angle you could see that that's what the print is underneath just straight lotus flowers mm-hmm. we got the lotus flower on there the the onk the mm-hmm. uh, what else we got what else we got what else we got I didn't write them down, but there's two others and yeah, they're, Mm -hmm. they're nice. They're nice. No, it's sick. But one thing I want to touch on is like concepts and Kyrie, they put out Mm -hmm. heat, man. Yeah. I mean, I actually, consistency. I saw the green lobster, uh, Kyrie four the other day. Mm -hmm. Fire. Yeah. Fire. The yellow lobster, the fours, like, I know those are like unobtainable, like heat. But when I saw those, I was like, those are fire. But even like the, the fives, like they came out with a plethora of fives. Like they came out with the Enquette pair. It was kind of like a sail uh-huh. base uh-huh. within the purple midsoles. I like those. And I also like the um Orion's belt pair where it was like Orion's all belt blue. Nice. Yeah. So sick. Like the consistency is there. And I think that's what's big with like sneaker collaborators and like these athletes is just that the consistency. You know what I'm saying? See, like, I, 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 I sort of disagree because I feel like when Concepts and Kyrie do their collabs, like they're, they're always doing them. Mm-hmm. But like the the orion's belt i thought was very very nice it wasn't something i needed something i really liked but it was nice mm-hmm. the other, what was the other one with, with the, the the sail color with the purple oh the inket i think i, I pronounced that right i didn't yeah. think that was because they, they came out with that bandulu pair i don't know if you remember that it had it looked like fruit ninja almost yes i remember that pair mm-hmm. but i thought they're really similar and like i just i didn't really care for it you know what i mean when you do mm-hmm. something as crazy as that Kyrie ford lobster pack and then you follow it up with that it's just like yeah mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's kind of tough. Pair is, is sick. It's sick. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, if I was a hooper right now, I would cop. But if I had extra money, I'd probably go for you, Torres. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, the cool, cool detail. One that like is easy to remember because there's just so much that has to do with it. So the shoes about Egyptian archaeology, right? Mm-hmm. Kyrie and Concept shared this like interest in it, and so now the bottom of the shoe, if you see, it has like a light orange and then like a like a dark burnt orange. Outsole, yes. yes, I've seen that, that shows the different colors that the sand looks like in during the day and at night. Jeez, that's what I'm saying, right? It's like, Jeez. like that's what I'm saying. That's so cool. That is, you so know, what they cool. might as well put have done. They should have potted. They should have put Egyptian sand in the sneaker. Imagine, well, well, that's the thing. The special box is only going for like under two hundred dollars. Right, I saw that. But the special box isn't like crazy special. Like you had the Turduncan that they just did recently, and that one they went above and beyond. They had like mm-hmm. a Nerf ball in there, or whatever. Mm-hmm. This one is just a box. Like mm-hmm. there's no like nothing crazy. You know what I mean? Yep. But- yep. Yeah, but I think they're fire. And plus, like, I believe that they're releasing tomorrow. We're recording this on a Tuesday. So they were yeah. dropping on Wednesday on sneakers. They're doing it via draw. So hopefully you guys, you know, submit your, you know, your submission to hopefully get a pair. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get them. I'm going to do everything I can. Because, I mean, retail is 130. It's not terrible. It's mm-hmm. got like a brushed, feathered, gold swoosh. Like, mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't no, they're fire. They're fire, Torres. You know, I hope you do land them. Little low key though, I hope you don't land them just to save some money because the next couple releases, yeah, these next couple months are gonna be heaters. Well, and um, can- small disclaimer: I actually did win the raffle for the undefeated Kobe's that gold pair with the purple and red. I think yes, I'm sir. gonna have to sell it. You, you're gonna sell them, Torres? I mean, I don't want to, but like, I I have to. Like, I don't have any more money. Like. <laughs> Because the travel, like, bro, before the travel, I didn't have money at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I-, I got so many shoes recently. And then I just really dug myself a hole getting that six. Oh, my God. But And, oh, gosh, man. And the Torres so is years. stressing, man. If you're watching this on YouTube, Torres is stressed. Like, I've seen it. Torres stressed before. He's stressed. There's a- I got to get the Kamikaze too low is another one. I, I got the white and red up tempo. Like, I, I need to <laughs> calm down, bro. You gotta I chill got two Torres. pairs of the Air Max 96 too for no freaking reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but Torres, we got to get you a hobby besides sneakers, man. I think that's what it is. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. <laughs> I live and die in this realm. That's it. Oh, man. But Torres, what do we got next, man? What do we got next? Another great one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's the New Balance 2002R collab with Bape. Oof. So they have like a black and colorway with that, you know, traditional babe camo green with some mm-hmm. red hints here and there with that shark mouth. And they also have a nice gray one. Yep. That's like, it's, I don't know. You talk about it. You talk about it. You talk okay, about it. Torres. Mm-hmm. We talked about it on a, like an earlier episode when they mm-hmm. first teased this collab. And I remember we were like, yo, I don't think we'll like the gray as much. I think we're going to gravitate more towards that black with that traditional camo. But after I saw pictures of the shoe 
on feet pictures of the shoe. I think the gray is a lot better than that black pair, you're to be honest. A lot. You're using the word a lot better. A lot, a lot better. You're, like, I like it because I love, you know, obviously you think New Balance, mm-hmm. they're most, they're like, like essentially OG colorways, I guess is the term to use, are mm-hmm. gray, like gray 992, gray 991, yep. gray 995, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like that camo, it just looks like fake to me. Mm. You know what I mean? Just because like, there's nothing like that original bape green camel right right. but i think overall the shoe just ties together better on that gray because it's sort of like all one like palette you know what i mean Mm -hmm. it kind of is like mixed together perfectly like it it fits like it works basically yeah because the other one is it's a black shoe with camel green and then just slapped like a sail midsole on there which i just Mm -hmm. thought was really out of left field but Mm -hmm. i don't know yeah, even with like the 2002R, like everyone loves that silhouette. Like we talk about the Salehis a lot. They've had a lot of success with a lot of GR colorways. Like those are actually reselling right now. And mm-hmm. I was like, whoa, like these actually like are hitting. So the fact that Babe can now put their remix on it and like they're both clean shoes. Like, you know, I wouldn't be mad if I get gray or black, to be honest. Like I prefer which one the would gray. You, which one would you gun for theoretically if they came out tomorrow? Um, The gray pair, 100%. 100 percent 100 the gray pair 100 percent right, the gray fair pair enough, fair enough fair enough yeah how about you Torres? what would you what would you gun for probably the gray pair because i have the uh the dame willard bape ones which look very yep. similar and mm-hmm. i have the year of the ox 2002r which also looks very similar yep so you know but um just quick side note did you see like on goat the prices of the amoeba music 992 um i haven't checked them recently i haven't bro, checked them recently because i gave up absurd bro every size like 280 to like 320 mm-hmm. go to size 10 which is what we were mm-hmm. 786 and i'm like what the what the who's heck? selling this pair <laughs> oh my god there's a cheaper pair on stock x but i know you don't do stock x so. i don't do stock x no yeah you know no OG sneaker hair over here right, right, you know but watch yourself torres watch yourself my, over bad, there. my bad my bad my bad my bad <laughs> but um this pair is actually coming out this week in japan yes yeah, that's coming out this week in Japan and uh, later on next month globally. Now, here's my question, though, Torres. Mm-hmm. If the price is right, would you grab it earlier global than the global release for this pair? Uh, just because I am really uh, my hands are tied at the moment monetarily. Um, mm-hmm. This is a retail only cop. That's retail it. only? Okay. If it's not retail, it's not for me. All right. Fair enough. And Fair enough. It. Granted, I'll probably end up buying it regardless. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but all right. Are you are you gonna gun for it? Um, no, I'm not gonna. If if it's if I can get it for retail, get it for retail. Mm-hmm. But the next two shoes, I might have to, you know, definitely put the funds out. The next because like shoes real quick about. with the Miami Night LeBron Eight Low, which is we didn't even talk about that with the Kyrie's, which is just really annoying because it's such a great shoe. Like, mm-hmm. when is the sneaker world gonna freaking appreciate a good basketball shoe? That's an yeah. amazing shoe, and like I got it for less than three hundred dollars, which mm-hmm. is just absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. And that that was the European only release, so it's like yep. this is such an amazing shoe, and it's like people rather pay mad money for like st- the freaking Stingwater Dunk. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's getting mad. He's getting mad. Everybody, Torres is getting mad. I mean, I'm because like it sort of helped me because you know the prices is lower, so like you could you could how you gonna hate from outside of the club when you can't even get in? Ah, ha ha ha. You bars. know <laughs> bars, Torres bars. You know, you know just had to do it real quick. <laughs> Oh um, my god. The the next topic, which I think mm-hmm. this is a this this is a Kyle shoe. The very two Kyle shoe. shoe. It's very sort of one Kyle. topic, two shoes. Um, so the 990 V3, I guess we can tell New Balance is gonna make a push for it this year, you know. Yes. Sort of give it a lot of collabs and whatnot. Recently it was the 992 where you had to Joe Fresh Goods, you know, Amoeba Music. Mm-hmm. What else? Give me some more. Give me some more. Jound. Me some more. Can't forget Jound. Jound, double, double taps. taps. Yep. A lot, a lot. A, a lot. whole plethora, the whole lineup. Of course. So this year will probably be the 990 V3. Mm-hmm. And two bangers have came, come out so far. Little teasers here and there. Mm-hmm. First one to discuss is the Bodega 993. Yep. Yep. This um the sneaker is celebrating the 15 years of Bodega being in business, and like I really like the shoe. Like it's a very muted sneaker, very big earth tones. Like really low key shoe. It's more of like a if you know you know type sneaker. Mm-hmm. Like I can see this sneaker kind of like you know it will be resold. But the resale value, I believe, shouldn't be that high. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I like it. Mm-hmm. P- 
period. That's it. Like, I don't love it. I don't need it. You know what I mean? It's a nice shoe. It's brown. It's got these hints. But, like, I don't want to jump too quick. But I guess I'm just going to do it regardless. This is, like, a brown shoe with little hints of brown, little hints of green. Which, mm-hmm. you know, you could see is just like, okay, brown's in. So let's run with it. Mm-hmm. Joe Freshkas did his 990 V3. Yes. But, like, that's brown with very nice hints and color combinations of this nice blue mm-hmm. it's similar to like the blue on my shirt if you see that yes. like a like a watered chlorine blue i don't really know how to explain it mm-hmm. but it, it just it, it the bodega one just seemed very lazy to me okay fair enough fair enough like it is muted like the colors are very muted mm-hmm. like it seems like it's a very everyday sneaker like I believe if you're more of like a New Balance, you know, consigliere, you would know that it is a Bodega New Balance Holy versus God. the Joe Fresh Goods, right. which this one is a banger. I'm not going to promise. Joe Fresh Goods is fire. Like that, I think that would be a good everyday shoe because it's just a good shoe in general. Mm-hmm. Bodega is just like, you can stay on the shelf. Like, I'm fine, mm-hmm. you know, but the Joe right. Fresh Goods is, woo. Yeah, and I will, I'm definitely going to, if I miss this release, I'll probably buy resell for this shoe, Yeesh. to be honest. So... This isn't market watch, but you know we both want this shoe. Mm-hmm. I believe we're going to pull very early, so that what happens to the nine nine two does not happen to this shoe. Oh, hundred percent. We are going to shake on it. We will shake on it. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna let each other and hold each other accountable that this shoe will not get out of our sights because the nine nine two pair is almost two thousand dollars right now. Erp. Don't and be mad. I am mad at that price. Don't be mad. <laughs> And one thing too, though, no. I want to give, I want to, I want to plug this into this episode real quick. Shout out to Joe Fresh Goods because he actually reposted us on his story. Yeah, that was that was great. And we made him chuckle about that thumbnail. Hopefully, it was a good chuckle. I, <laughs> I hope so too. But um, most likely we're gonna use. And if you guys have been following the um Instagram, we've been making a lot of graphics. So most likely I'll be making a graphic for this sneaker. So Joe, if you see this graphic, let us know, man. We need size tens we for need- show. Oh my gosh, this guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> But no, I mean, just to round it off, the, the shoe just really works together. Like, it's mm-hmm. a lot more artistic, and I don't want to put down the bodega one, but it's like, yo, what the freak? Like, yeah. I can't. It's like chocolate with, and you drop some sprinkles on it. And that's it. I'm just being honest. I'm not a hater. I swear to you, mm-hmm. I'm not a hater. But it was lazy. But right. Joe, the Joe Freshman's pair, great, great. No, that is a that is a, such a sick pair. Like, I'm excited for it. And plus, I don't know if you know this two tours, but then it's the cover of the Sneaker Freaker magazine. I did. I don't see know that. if you saw that. Yeah. And the box is like blue skies with clouds on it. So I'm curious, like, what's the storytelling of the sneaker? Because this shoe is going to be releasing within the next couple months in July. That's what he was stating. Mm-hmm. I mean, I actually didn't know that about the box, but it's called Outside Clothes, I believe. It says that on the back heel along with that JFG. You know, oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. See, you see how like it's more than yeah, just a brown than a shoe. shoe. It's more than a shoe. It's more than a shoe. Yeah. But oh man, nah, but I'm excited. Do. I'm excited. I'm getting generally excited. I know that hopefully we can push through, get the shoe for retail, but we're gonna have to fall on that safety blanket just in case. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, yes, just sir. in case. Um. All right. So after talking about one great shoe, I don't know. I want you to you to do this. I want to see what your initial reactions are. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. Um. The next shoe on sneaker news today uh-huh. is the uh, Travis Scott Air Max One, and there are pictures now circulating of him wearing the actual shoe on feet, mm-hmm. and I just no, I'm uh-oh. not a fan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not a fan, man. Like, I'm not like, it's not me. Like, what are we doing? Like, I love the Air Max one. I love the Air Max one. Don't get it twisted. But when I saw those on feet, I was like, this is not it, man. Like, Travis Scott can now do any silhouette he wants. Like, he decided to do an Air Max one. Mm -hmm. And I just think it didn't live up to its potential. Like, that's just my thing. Like, I don't I don't know. I don't feel it. I mean, like. The Travis shoes, granted, they re- they receive a lot of hate because of, you know, the hype culture that surrounds it. Mm-hmm. But, like, some of the pairs are really nice. You know, both sixes, I love. The one, I really like. That fragment pair, I really like that pair. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people don't. But, like, I think you can't really hold the correct opinion because mm-hmm. of, you know, your sort of opinion, including your opinion the culture clouded. in it's your clouded. opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um... You know, this one's just bad. <laughs> this one's just... First off, it doesn't look like an Air Max one. 
No. So it's like an Air Max One hybrid. It's more similar to a Witherspoon than anything because like it's just a mm-hmm. random shoe with an Air Max One sole. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I just feel like right now, I think Nike should just be like, yo, Trav, we want to, we want to take you to a different direction than shoes right now and cut it a break. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Uh, I, don't, I disagree. You know, run with it. Cause I, I really like that the one and the one low, you know, it, it's just, you gotta have misses to appreciate the makes. You know what I mean? Like this, this is essentially like the, the newer version of that 270 he did. Like okay. it was nice. It was cool to look at. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all yeah, I got. I just, yeah, I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. Like, I've seen people do different colorways of the shoe. I've seen people, like, show that there are going to be alternative pairs of the shoe. Uh-huh. Like, now I've seen, like, the on feats of the shoe. And I'm just like, I'm not really feeling it, man. Like, I know that, pe- I know it's going to sell out. I know that, you know, it's going to be hyped. Resellers are going to get it. But, like, I just think that, like, sometimes you got to take a seat back and be like, I don't like this shoe. You know what I mean? Like, you have to say it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I mean, nothing's worse than when the mock-ups are better than the actual shoe. That is a fact. That is a fact. I'm not going to lie to you on that. Nothing is worse. But Oh, God. We'll see what happens. You know, I'll love to get this pair and, you know, sell it to a friend and make a couple dollars. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd rather give the oop to somebody who actually would wear them, to be honest who is gonna work i'm sorry it's just people don't really like air max ones like you see you have a great pair right there by your right shoulder that's the clot air max one and it's just so underappreciated oh 100 percent. so like I, I am very curious on what's gonna happen like are people gonna like it but like it's an air max one mm-hmm. you know what i mean like i just feel like that's 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 not in the spotlight at the moment yeah it's not so. like i feel like for Air Max, especially the Air Max one, they need somebody to like basically get push the hype train. Like it has to be a collab and then like release a couple iconic GRs and then probably hopefully like re-retro like like a, like a clot or like maybe like I a mean, pot of pair. You know what I mean? Like they've been killing it. You know, like the 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 pot the, the recent one that came out was that 2018. Yes, that pair is mm-hmm. amazing. I feel like that's one of the greatest shoes ever. But mm-hmm. if that can't you know spark the train, then I don't know what's going to. I don't know what it'll be. Yeah. But um, man, Torres, that was pretty good. But I think the next shoe that we're going to talk about, this is from Market Watch. Yes. And like, I want to know your opinion on this shoe, to be honest, and let, let the people know what shoe it is. All right. So it's the Dover Street. I believe it's just a dunk. It's not an SB. Oh, it's a dunk. It's a regular dunk. Are you positive, though? It looks like a dunk to me. <laughs> it looks like a dunk to me. <laughs> you know? I think it's going to be a dunk because it has that micro swoosh. So it's the Dover Street Market one. It's mm-hmm. in like an all white velour upper. Mm-hmm. I love the shoe, but like, yo, this is gonna be the most delicate dust buster ever. <laughs> like, it, like if you take one step in it, like, I I love the shoe. It's gonna be one mm-hmm. you're gonna love look at looking at. But like mm-hmm. in terms of market watch, I think this is gonna be an exact replica of the cactus plant flea market Savarsky dunk that came out. Mm, you know, it'll drop. So. People be like, oh, okay, you know, maybe I'll get it, and then you zoom, zoom, mm-hmm. yep. just like gone. Okay, but I like the shoe. If it goes like below six five i think i'd pull but like mm-hmm. you gotta buy with the intentions of this shoe will just pick up all the dust in every step mm-hmm. it's white velour i mean what's gonna happen yep. you know you know it's really funny because i knew you were gonna like this sneaker because it's basically an all white strange love yeah. and i know you're a big fan of that sneaker of course um now with the market watch aspect of this shoe personally and this is just historically speaking Dover Street Market collaborations don't really do good in the aftermarket. Which is weird because they've had good ones. Like the Jordan exactly. one, I've always loved that shoe. Mm-hmm. The Air Max one that like the, you know, you actually gave me that one. I, I, I yep. love that one. I love Amazing that pair. One. Amazing pair. But like swept under the rug. Swept mm-hmm. under the rug. Yeah, for some reason, like people just aren't really like, I guess, buying it in the aftermarket or they're just not as hyped up, which is better for like the people that actually want to purchase it. But I feel like this pair specifically because one, it's a Nike Dunk, mm-hmm. two, it has a mini swoosh and three, it has premium um, like materials on it. I think that would drive the market for this shoe. And I, I think that, to be honest, it might cap at like maybe like 450 to 500, in my opinion. I don't think it'll go below a thousand think so yes wow the only thing working against it is that it is super super delicate Mm -hmm. you know because like this is like you know similar to that all white air force conversation we have but Mm -hmm. like this is a shoe you're gonna buy for a couple wears but at least it's good materials you know it's not freaking Mm -hmm. plastic like an air force but you know right it is right 
And also the thing too, probably what would drive this resale value up, in my opinion, is most likely they'll be released Dover Street Market E-Flash and the bots cook that up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say that again, bro. I, I hate that. I no, forgot like, what the- I was trying to get and like just nothing, absolutely <laughs> nothing. But I don't remember. Yeah, no, it's going to be a tough buy, to be honest. Like anybody that's trying to gun this pair, like I would probably suggest like the day of the release day, like just like keep your eye out on StockX, keep your eye out on GOAT, and then just hopefully to pull the trigger at the right time before it increases. Because that's what always will happen, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I just don't see it decreasing, to be honest. Okay, fair enough. we'll, we'll see. Now. We'll see, because there's no release date for the shoe. Like it said, 2021. So mm-hmm. I'm going to assume and hope that hopefully it's before the fall, because you, I wouldn't wear this in the fall. Like you're going to be attracting every living creature on your feet well like i was saying i think it's very similar to the cactus plant flea market if they did like an alternate colorway of the shoe and like say they copied cactus plant flea market and it was like an olive green mm-hmm. huh. Huh. i gotta say huh. that would sell out. it would sell out my guy it would yeah, sell out would be fire and any re- really like any color besides white i would be a fan of even make it mm-hmm. a cream i'm fine with the cream mm-hmm. but like or to be honest they could have made it all black that would have been, you know, I mean, still a dust buster, except you're going to see the dust a lot now. Yeah. But how fire would that have been? Kyle, oh, you shouldn't man. have said that. Now I'm disappointed. That would have been so fire. A black <laughs> velour dunk? What? Oh, man. Nike, sign us up, man. We got the ideas. Let us know. Sign us up. Sign. <laughs> Speaking of my sinuses, my allergies have been bugging out. So <laughs> it is, oh, man, it's been bad outside. But... This is our episode of sneaker shopping. Uh, not sneaker shopping. Excuse me. Sneaker news. Whoa. Ow. My bad. My wow. bad. My Too bad. YouTube for somebody over here. My bad. <laughs> but this is our episode for sneaker news. Hope you guys made it this far in the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll catch you guys next time. I'm your host, Colin Riquez. Anthony Torres. We'll catch you guys later. Peace. Peace.